Today, I'm going to be running you through Blockstrap. I'm going to be showing you how to use it, how to set it up, and the best settings for the most optimal performance. I'll also share my exclusive fast flags and some other important tips and tricks. So make sure to watch to the end so you don't mess anything up. And let's get straight into it. First things first, it's surprising how many people don't have the correct Blockstrap. If I go to Google and search for Blockstrap, for me right now, the first one that pops up is the correct one. But for a lot of you, you will see either of these right here. So blxstrap.org, which looks very real. Again, if I'll go, I'll go on the website and blockstrap.org. This one actually is not even loading. I think it's because of my antivirus. But yeah, if that doesn't prove it, this is literal malware. And the one that did load, although it looks quite legit, it just isn't the real website. So this link right here, it might get you into some trouble. So just make sure you access it on blockstraplabs.com. This will give you a direct download from their GitHub, which is also an option you can download it here. And as it's open source, you can view the entire code to feel completely safe that this is not malware. It's probably one of the only bootstrappers right now that is safe but once you download it you want to open it before you launch the game press configure settings that's the most important thing they won't just configure themselves that's why we're here starting on the integrations tab activity tracking basically keeps blockstrap running in the background this detects the exact roblox game you're playing and enables features like discord rich presence and server notifications so quite simply turning on enable activity tracking this will let you use rpc it will show your game history and also server info these settings are completely personal they're quite self-explanatory so i don't need to spoon feed them to you but just keep in mind and no one mentions this that they can affect your performance a very small bit it's a very minimal impact and recent updates have a lot faster fetching but it keeps some things running in the background and of course that can lower your fps and suffice to say there's no ban risk with this at all there were some rumors that some of these features could get you banned that isn't true whatsoever and actually nothing i show in this video not even the fast flags can get you banned it's all completely safe and they're the most optimized you won't find them anywhere else oh and i almost forgot in the miscellaneous tab multi instance launching i'll definitely put this on it's quite cool Again, keep in mind about the performance thing, but this literally lets you run multiple Roblox accounts at the same time. It's really good for multitasking or just testing things. So yeah, worth noting. But yeah, moving on to Bootstrapper. Here, I would turn off background updates. Don't get me wrong, you want to update your Roblox, but the issue here is when they do updates that you don't like, and they do a lot of them, it's going to update it and force you onto the update. And not only that, it can affect your ping because it will just update in the background and you'll be so confused, but your ping will spike and you may lose. Moving down to mods, I don't really mess with this too much. Of course, adding mods is going to affect your performance. You'll get less FPS. Though it really does depend on how many you add. Some of these are a lot lighter, like the sound ones. And if anything, maybe simplifying them can actually improve your performance. But again, very minimal impact. And a lot of this is just subjective. It's personal preference. Before we jump back into the video, if you've ever thought about upgrading your PC for better gaming or just need a legit software for cheap, I'm always out here looking for good value and safe ways to boost your setup. And today I've got an exclusive deal for you. Keyspan is running their Black Friday super sale. The craziest software discounts you'll see all year. Seriously, this only happens once every 12 months and it's hands down the best time to grab your Windows or Microsoft Office keys for a fraction of the normal price. Whether you need to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro for smoother gaming or you want all the productivity features of MS Office, Keyspan has you covered with deals you won't find anywhere else but what actually makes it worth the upgrade firstly you're going to get better performance newer hardware and software updates these let your systems run faster that's going to reduce lag and help you dominate with very smooth gameplay you have improved security you have an official software gives you the best security patches and keeps your pc safe from malware and hackers and it's just generally great for content creation you have a legit windows and office and it makes all the difference because your workflow is going to be a lot faster and error free now let me show you how simple it is to claim your black friday deal all you need to do is head over to the sale page the link is going to be in the top of the description you're going to see all of these exclusive discounts and all of my codes as well for example, if you want Windows 11 Pro, which I highly recommend, you can see some incredible sales right here with this code FXT52. It's going to give you 52% off. And of course, you get the most value if you buy more keys. So a five keys pack, which is the most popular, is going to give you the best deals. So for example, if we were going with this, which by the way, was $225 and then was just going to 121 and if we add it to our basket and enter my exclusive code right here, you can see it is now just $58. That is insane. We're saving $62. And that's from the already discounted price. Imagine what we would have saved any otherwise. And just to give you another example, if you want Office Pro Plus or Office 21 on Windows 11 Home, you can add one of these to your basket and apply the code FXT62. And as you can see, we're saving 62%. That is $56 off this product. I'm telling you, you won't find it cheaper anywhere else. And all you need to do after this is complete your purchase safely. You can use PayPal, credit, or debit card. 
And it really is that simple. Keyspan is going to deliver your official key immediately with 24-7 support and activation guidance. Now, I can't stress enough, this is perfect if you have a main gaming rig plus a laptop. Or maybe you want to hook your family up and some friends. All products are 100% official OEM keys. They activate online and they work globally, so there's no risky crack, just proper security and full updates. Over 100,000 customers use Keyspan and rave about the instant deliveries and customer service. And don't forget, this is a Black Friday campaign, so it's a very limited time offer. If you wait, you may just miss the lowest prices and discounts of the year. So upgrade your setup, boost your gaming performance, and go into 2026 protected and optimized. Again, check the description for my link, and let me know in the comments what you grabbed and how your PC is running afterwards. Alright, let's get back into the gameplay. Moving on, engine settings. This is like the core and everything basically in Blockstrap. This is what everyone's here for, and if you don't have the fast legs editor and you don't actually have most of these settings, it's because you're on the wrong version of Blockstrap. Now, you don't have to join my Discord server for this, but I will leave the link there. You want to be on Blockstrap version 2.0. 9.1 you can find it very easy on the github but this is going to ensure you can use fast flags and not only that but in my discord server i'm going to also leave the best fast flags these work after patch and they are the most optimized you can see them here if you just want to copy them there'll also be a link down below to download but it's probably quicker to just join here you can leave afterwards but very simply allow blockchain to manage fast flags have the on if you have the option assuming you're now on the correct version i should have probably mentioned that at the start i'm very very sorry presets my fast flags are going to cover pretty much all of these it's a quicker option but just to be sure anti-aliasing have it set to one or if you have a decent pc automatic works for the absolute most fps turn all of these off disable player shadows disable post person effects and disable terrain textures frame limit set it to zero i have an entire video on how to unlock your fps so go and check that out if you want unlimited frames preferred lighting technology don't worry about this too much the fast flags will do it but for the most part i have it just on choosing by game it's the safest option having this turned on on mid to high end pcs is good if you have an absolute garbage computer maybe turn it off and actually up your scaling in windows because as you read right here and i don't think i've ever heard anyone actually mention this on youtube but it reduces your rendering quality so the more you scale your display it lowers your quality and if you keep scaling or lower and lower and lower to the point where you reach the max scaling and it lowers so much that it does look like buns but you will get some better FPS and you have to play around with it a bit. Just kind of like something I've been experimenting with. Rendering mode, how does an automatic, but my fast flags are going to cover this again. Texture quality, of course, you want it on the lowest. That's going to give you the most FPS, but level one also works. I have quite a high end PC, mid range one, even two potentially. You definitely don't want to be on free, ideally. Um, otherwise, I don't know why you're here because I'm trying to give you the best FPS and the best FPS only. But you know, if you're Tommy Tough Nuts, maybe go with aut automatic. I sue yourself and everything else here is completely not going to affect anything uh it's subjective it's personal and of course in the fast flags i'm pretty sure these are my updated ones but you can see them here if you want to move anything you can do that and if you want to find out to import them i have an entire video on that as well now appearance there's nothing here you need to worry about too much this is completely how the app looks and shortcuts these are all just quality of life things we also go in settings right here Something I would also do, and this is a fix if your block strap keeps automatically updating. I noticed a lot of people had the issue, especially when trying to download the version that I recommended for the fast flag editor, or at least the uh, legacy fast flag editor. You want to have this turned off. So having this on, is going to be an issue. They'll just update the bootstrapper and they're going to remove features, kind of like the Roblox one. You just want to have control over these things. So turn it off. If you see an update you like, you can do it manually. And in Blockstrap itself, that is pretty much everything. The fast flags is the main thing, but it isn't everything. And honestly, after years of grinding optimizations, I've built something that tailors these settings and gives you Roblox optimizations that are completely personal for your setup. This is something that no YouTube tutorial or bootstrapper nails. You simply drop one of our optimization packs into ChatGPT or your preferred AI, and it turns it into a personal private PC expert. It's going to ask questions about your operating system, your hardware, and what Roblox games you play, and then it will adapt a step-by-step -step guide just for you. No, so no more pausing videos or sketchy installs. You run completely safe, reversible changes yourself while it tracks progress and skips that doesn't fit your skill level or your goals. This is exactly how I achieve such smooth gameplay, and, and some of your favorite Roblox creators live by it. So if you want to get the performance you deserve from your PC, go and check it out. I'll leave a link down below. 